Hi guys, my name is Nan Bagheel uh, and I welcome all of you guys uh, in this video and in this video we are going to learn about how to manage group policy scopes uh, in uh, Active Directory uh, Windows Server 2016 Technical Preview 4 so we will learn how to do it so let me begin uh, and I can tell you a little bit things so my requirement and my uh, setup is just like I have a Windows uh, uh, Server 2016 Technical Preview 4 and client system is Windows 7 and activities in this video we will be uh, performing as mentioned here uh, we will create a, a GPU with a policy setting that takes precedence over a conflicting settings and we will view whether this effect is uh, this setting is working or not and uh, uh, we will apply uh, inheritance uh, and how to do it I will tell you in this video so basically we will be working on three activities in this video so let me close this uh, PPT for time being and uh, let's move to uh, the first thing we need to do is I'm just creating uh, some OUs here uh, we, may rec uh, we may need to use those OUs in this activity so I'm creating uh, let me check whether I have already created or something like that so I have uh, I have many uh, OUs here so let me create new OU here um, creating name is I'm putting one and sorry uh, I think I missed I should not create here so let me reopen this page yeah it is properly not an issue I'm creating one more OU name I'm giving name 2 and uh, inside this I'm creating one more OU I'm giving name 3 so I have done this thing now what I'm going to do is I am op uh, we need to open group policy management console now so I am in group policy management console so let me close that one and reopen a fresh uh, group policy management console and uh, I need to go administrative tools so I'm group in group policy management here now and we can see it is reflecting the OU which is created by me recently and now what we need to do is we need to create one group policy object here so we have two way uh, ways to create this either we can create like this new uh, GPU or we can create here also so I'm just using this option in this video create a GPU in this domain and click it here so I got the same option here so I'm uh, giving name uh, one two and three and this is my group policy object for this OU so I have done this thing now what we need to uh, do is here uh, um, I should uh, not give this name I am renaming this uh, group policy object here so just little bit here I am giving override uh, at the end so we will see over right so I have mentioned this thing here now what we need to do is uh, we need to we will uh, edit this uh, group policy object and uh, let me do it uh, I'm just going to this option and clicking op edit now we need to go um, user configuration I'm going user configuration we have two option either uh, user configuration and computer configuration so I'm in user configuration now I'm going to control panel and personalization so here I will apply few policies uh, so I'm just uh, doing one thing yeah uh, I'm just uh, clicking screen saver timeout so as you can see here as of now the screen saver timeout is 19 uh, 900 seconds so what I'm going to do is here um, I'm disabling this screen shaver as of now and I have disabled this uh, screen 
can save a timeout policy and uh, I need to ap click on apply ok and close I have closed that uh, group policy management editor and now we will go to um, this OU once again uh, so now what we need to do is uh, as I talked in this uh, PPT let me show you once again uh, we have created one GPU and applied uh, one uh, setting uh, I disabled that one screen shaver and now I'm going to uh, show you this uh, one thing here uh, this group policy inheritance so I'm, I just need to click here on this three uh, group uh, OU and I need to go here group policy inheritance and I will confirm here uh, whether the uh, precedence number is uh, higher or uh, lower so we need to uh, put this uh, higher so as you can see it is one only so we do not need to uh, do anything here and the reason is uh, the screen shaver uh, timeout policy setting you just configured in the uh, 3 OU uh, or uh, group policy object we had created 1, 2, 3 uh, is applied after the setting uh, in the uh, this thing uh, 1 uh, standard uh, GPO object therefore the new setting will be override the standard setting and will win so screen saver timeout, timeout uh, will be uh, disabled for users within the scope of uh, of the engineering uh, of the third OU or this one uh, we have created one two three uh, new group policy object uh, GPO and uh, we will view the effects uh, of the infos GPO link with uh, how to do it I will tell you so what we need to do is here uh, we need to uh, see uh, here uh, uh, group this one domain controllers and uh, click the group policy uh, in inheritance once again we need to click here so I am here and uh, uh, group policy inheritance tab is here tab is here and I am I have done this thing and once again uh, we need to check this precedence here so group policy uh, precedence is one here for this uh, default group policy and next what we need to do is uh, I will tell you a little bit here few things and now we will see uh, how to apply or how to block inheritance here so what we need to do is here once again we need to go this one uh, or 3 OU this OU and uh, uh, again uh, let me click here on group policy inheritance tab so I have clicked here and we have two more tabs here one is delegation tab and second is linked group policy object here so I am in group policy inheritance and now uh, once again we will examine the precedence so the precedence is uh, one not an issue here so I'm just right clicking on this one and selecting block inheritance so I have just blocked this uh, inheritance for this uh, OU and the question is now uh, we have a question uh, as I have blocked this inheritance so which GPU continues to apply the users in the uh, TOU if we have uh, users in a uh, 3 uh, OU so uh, which GPU will continue to apply the policy or settings and where are those GPUs linked and why do they continue to apply here the question is because I have blocked that uh, inheritance so 
uh, the answer is like uh, you know the third uh, one two three uh, application uh, or this thing uh, we have created here one two three new group policy object overwrite uh, GPU which is linked to uh, 3OU itself so and this this OU will continue to apply and uh, next what we need to do is just right click uh, once again to this 3OU and clear this inheritance I'm just clicking on this and I have cleared this win uh, this check mark from here so as you can see uh, let me refresh this I have refreshed this one and uh, sorry uh, let me refresh once again here if we once again block this one as you can see if it is not applied here or ch check mark is not there it is reflecting two uh, uh, policies here or two set settings here one and second precedence number once we are clicking on this this to, uh, default uh, domain policies are not visible or going and uh, disabling by itself so this is the difference and uh, so we have learned uh, this thing uh, so far in this video and next what we need to do is uh, uh, in this video this much only uh, we will we learned how to uh, how to manage group policy scopes in active directory windows server 2016 technical preview 4 and next uh, uh, in my next video I will be talking about some more things as you can see uh, I will show you here about uh, group policy modeling group policy results uh, how we can use those things so uh, as of now in this video this much only and uh, I would like to thanks all of you for watching this video and please uh, subscribe uh, don't forget to subscribe don't forget to uh, like this video and share this video and you can subscribe my channel also i have created multiple videos and basically i'm focusing on windows server 2016 uh, and at the end i would like to say thanks for watching this video